We've been working with the leadership of the university for two years now, um, giving them support and advice about global trends in higher education policy and practice, helping them with uh, recruitment of a provost, advising them about uh, priority setting and uh, the best ways to create a world-class university. We also provide training for the senior management team. Um, so as recently as last month, we had uh, three teams coming and visiting our campus, seeing how uh, we conduct things like student life, um, dormitories, uh, as well as uh, academic policy and planning issues. And the third thing we do is uh, to partner with the Education Policy Centre to create a strong analytical capacity for the formation of education policies in the region, not just in Kazakhstan, but in the broader region of Central Asia. And that is an ongoing relationship uh, which we value very highly because it produces new knowledge, uh, new knowledge about what works in the region um, and we share it with uh, the wider academic community. So, it's, it's, so those are our three uh, primary relationships with the university. We support the senior management team, we provide training for senior managers and we work with the Education Policy Centre. We've been working with uh, the senior management team about um, preparing uh, for what we call accreditation, which is the process by which a university gets recognised as being of, a, of the top rank. And so Penn is an accredited university and we've been advising uh, the senior leadership here about preparing for accreditation. This is a very long process. It takes many years to, to gain accreditation, but we've been helping with the thinking about accreditation. I think that's the most, uh, that's the clearest example where we've taken some of our good practices and said, tried to transfer them over to uh, the uh, university. The other place where we've had uh, some uh, transfer of technology and practice is in the conference that we've been running this week, uh, where the process for inviting papers, inviting pr presentations and saying, we will only accept the best. And so 100 were submitted, 40 were chosen. So there is a, what that does is lift the academic standard of presentations and research in the, in the community and in the region, because we have people here from Belarus and Kyrgyzstan, as well as from Kazakhstan. And so we, it's sending a very powerful signal about the high academic standards. And the next step in that process is that we will conduct some workshops for, with the Education Policy Centre about academic publishing and setting standards for high quality publications. And so we, we're beginning a process of lifting the standard of scholarship as well as lifting the standard of teaching and, and uh, service. The biggest challenge that, that exists for the university is how to document its good practices and transfer them to other universities. And this morning, that's what we were talking about, is how can we say, this is what works here. This is a good way to teach science. 
this is a good way to organise a science lab. This is the most innovative engineering program in the, in the region, if not in the world. How do we shift that knowledge about how to teach engineering really well to 10 other universities? That is a really, really difficult thing to do. And what, what it means is that you actually have to work out what is it that's essentially working in, in engineering and what is it that we need to transfer. And that's a process of very serious and very difficult scholarship. And that's why you have an education policy centre. It's going to do that sort of work, as will the scholars and practitioners who come here to be faculty members. It is far too early. This is the second year. It's not even the end of the second year. It's not even the end of the first half of the second year. But So it's too early for us to start to document and transfer. The engineering school is just in its first weeks of operation. But what's important is that we know that we have to document that work and we have to transfer the knowledge. The same issue exists for the intellectual schools. If it works in the intellectual schools, we, we have to transfer it to all of the other schools in the country. And so we need to begin a serious process of monitoring the achievements of the students at the university and of the schools and tra taking what works and transferring it elsewhere. The, uh, we definitely can learn from uh, Nazarbayev University. And we made it very clear that when we st started to talk about having a partnership, a bilateral partnership, that it was indeed bilateral that it involved exchange and learning between from both parties because we think we have a lot to learn from uh, the, the university. It's very, very unusual to create a university like this. Uh, it's very unusual to introduce the notion of a board of trustees or of a council to lead a university. How do you go about that? What can we learn about how that happens here? Because other countries and other nations and other regions will start to do the same. And we want to be able to say, look, learn from what happened with Nazarbayev University. Here's how they went about doing this. Uh, because it's so unusual to do what, what is happening here uh, on this scale and with this level of resources and with this level of, of commitment. So it's really very, very exciting to us as scholars because we can learn. We will not be here if we weren't able to learn something. Um, and our faculty in the education school are only supportive of our work here because it's a, it, it creates research and scholarship. They're not interested in us just coming here and teaching. They want us to come here and be scholars. So that's really important. We think that the relationship will continue. Um, we find it's very rewarding uh, intellectually in terms of our scholarship. In Kazakhstan, there is a level of commitment from the President, Prime Minister, Deputy Prime Minister to make this a, a, a major improvement in education in the country. So it's worth t time and effort. Uh, the university, we hope we will continue that, that Penn will continue to be engaged and that indeed that our engagement may actually grow. We are, have begin, begun conversations about cr helping Nazarbayev University create an education school in partnership with Cambridge University. It's still early in those negotiations. We're hopeful that they are positive.